Hello Stampers! My name is Linda Bedinger and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm so glad you could join me this afternoon. Uh, what I have for you finally is my October Paper Pumpkin Alternatives. I made a six cards and um, I think the kit is just gorgeous um, and I, I think that the kit just even made up the way it's supposed to be made up is absolutely just beautiful. So it's called Winter Woods, and uh, let's just get started. Okay, here's my paper pumpkin for October, again called Winter Woods. And in the paper pumpkin this time um, are um, the instructions, of course, uh, but the little stamp set that comes with it this time. I'm going to put it on a piece of paper here. It's got these dots, and uh, I used mine to simulate snow. It's got a snowflake, and it's got season's greetings, uh, winter wishes. It's got a pretty little cardinal here, and it's got wishing you a Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year. So very nice little stamp set here. And uh, I've got my alternatives and I made six this time. Let me show you a little bit about what's in the kit. I've got some of my things that I used in the kit. Um, it comes with these silver um, uh, lined or outlined envelopes. And I think there's enough to make 12 cards in here. 10 cards. 10 cards and 10 envelopes. And the inside of these envelopes is this pretty wood pattern. And uh, of course I've made one using the inside of the envelope. Um, then it has these little snowflake sequins uh, that are in the kit. And of course your dimensionals. And um, these are some of the labels, um, die-cut pieces. These are ones that have a wood pattern to them, and I don't think I used any of those. These are gorgeous. They're pool party, and they've got a silver rim around them, and they really go beautifully with this kit. Then there are these trees um, that are die cut and the really amazing thing is I don't know if you can see that I'll bring it up uh, but the um, the paper itself is real glittery even more so than our glimmer paper um, it's it's really really attractive and then it's got kind of a snow bank to the bottom and that's how people are putting together these cards um, by putting a couple of those trees on either side of the image on the card front. And then here is the card front. Um, and it's beautiful, even just like that. It does look like those trees are coming off of the paper at you. Um, it's all flat and it's, it's printed on there, but uh, it really does give the illusion of depth. And then it's got the dark uh, blue sky here and pull party around the bottom and those are the bases and then you get a Knight of Navy Stampin' Spot. <clears throat> so um, let's see, the coordinating colors were Navy, Pool Party, Poppy Parade, and Shaded Spruce. And I kept my designs fairly simple this time. And as you can see I have quite a bit of material left over. Um, but I came up with um, six different cards. The very first one that I did was really probably the simplest. And that is where I took the card itself just the way it came. I stamped uh, the snowflakes on the inside. And we don't have gold stars, but we have these little copper stars. And I put some red rhinestones on the tree, and then I used that stamp 
in the set. Let me grab it here. It's right here. And I used Versamark and then white embossing powder to create the look of falling snow. And I, there's just something about the way those trees are printed on there. They look like they're coming off the page. So then I took a little piece of Whisper White and I stamped my Wishing You Merry Christmas and a Very Happy New Year on here. And I went around the edges with a sponge and a little bit of the Knight of Navy ink. And that was my first card. Very simple, very close to what's in the kit. Then, uh, let's see, the next card that I made was this one where I took the heirloom frame and cut it out of white and then just sponged over once I embossed it with that Knight of Navy and again, very much just like the card, put my season's greetings down here and on this one, I didn't put anything on the inside, um, but e even stamping a few of these snowflakes would be would be just fine there. And, and then I put some rhinestones on that one. I could have used those little snowflake things that came with it. Um, the next one that I did um, was this one. And what I did was I used a Knight of Navy base and I just cut the trees out of the out of the front of the card. Now this allowed me to make two cards with this because this piece I put on a piece of Knight of Navy and then I put two small silver strips. Now those strips aren't but three quarters of an inch wide. Um, it looks like it's backed in that but it's not. And I used some of the negative space, let me just show you, on the trees. Okay, so here is a set of the trees. And so I used, I cut the trees off of this one because I used them for something else. And I used part of the snow bank that's here. And then I used this negative space to cut another little snowbank. So I ended up with two snowbanks here. And then I put a little bit of glue and some glitter and some wink of Stella. And I used my fine tip glue pen to uh, sparkle up those birds. And it's a very simple card. On the inside, I have wishing you a Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year on white. Very simple. I could put a bird inside to dress that one up a little bit. So that's card number three. Then I took the card that was left over and this little sliver of edge that's on here and I put a piece of backing on that white to cover the back side of it then put a piece of Knight of Navy down here and then took the other edge that I cut off this side and put it here uh, over my trees. And this is where I used some of the trees that I didn't use for some of these other cards. And two of these trees are laying flat against the card and then two of them are dimensionaled up. Then I have my Winter Wishes here a few of the birds and I did use my uh, fine tip glue pen. I want to go back to this one because one of the things that I did do to this one is I sponged darker around the edges of this one all the way around. I sponged some uh, Knight of Navy to give that a little bit of dark background and I forgot to say that part because if you look at this, this is a little bit lighter and I just sponged, and you could make that as dark as you want. The darker you make it, the more outstanding your uh, snowflakes turn out that way. And so this one, um, I ran, since the dark was on this side, the blue, I just turned this piece around so that it looked pretty random and it doesn't look like it's the front of the card. And so I've got the trees there and on the inside, I just 
sponged a little bit of the Knight of Navy and put one of the little red birds. So that is card number four. Then I did this one. And this was interesting. I wanted to make those trees stand out. So what I did was I fussy cut, poked my scissors into a card front piece. Let me just show you. And poked my scissors in and fussy cut these trees out. Now these trees don't sit on here centered. They're over to one side. So I cut a stitched rectangle die that would cover the place that I cut out those trees. And then I put a piece of white on the backing and I stamped a few of those snowflakes on the inside of this one. Then when my trees were fussy cut out, I put it back on this stitched rectangle that I put here. And I raised the trees up on dimensionals and I covered this with the fine tip glue and then uh, covered it with dazzling diamonds. And then I double put double the dimensionals on this piece to go in front of these trees so it's raised up even more. And simple greeting here, winter wishes. And then again, the couple of snowflakes on the inside. So very simple again, using by and large, just mostly the material in the kit. Then this was the last one that I made and I cut the largest oval of our layering ovals out here and cut this four by five and a quarter from the inside of one of the envelopes that comes with this kit and then made it almost like a looking out a window of a of a cabin here um, and then i put two of the trees on this side and i did intend to put a bird on there and i think i'll just go ahead and do that um, and i thought i might put one of the birds facing this way right here on my birch trees let me get that glued up and I'm going to sit that little bird right there. I think that little pop of color just makes, um, uh, adds a little bit of interest. Now I'm going to take one more of these birds and you can see I put birds everywhere and I still have quite a few birds left over. There's, there's a lot of material in here and I'm going to add, I added a bird on one side and I'm going to add a bird on the other side here wishing you a Merry Christmas and a very happy new year and then I used my wink of Stella on this uh, on the trees here to give them a bit of sparkle and I just took some of our linen thread and wound it around the card I think it was three or four times here and then used a double width to make my bow and so there are my six cards alternatives and mostly I didn't go very far off the reservation this time. Uh, the images are so pretty on this that um, the cards almost made themselves. I just did a little bit of framing on a couple of these and I really am quite pleased with them. Um, and that's my project for the day. Um, thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel today. I do so appreciate it. And if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd love to be your demonstrator. And or you could join my team. It would be lovely to have you on my team. Uh, let's see. Uh, my prize draw for the month of November, because this will now be airing in November, is um, the Rose Bundle the a Christmas Rose Bundle, the stamp set and the die set and a package of paper. And all it takes to uh, put yourself in the drawing is to place an order on my website, albedinger.stampinup.net, or you can get to it through my blog, www.inkandingenuity.com. Uh, thanks again for stopping by, and I'll be back soon with more cards, more tips, and more projects. Bye!